You know, I was in a blue room once. I don't know where I was going with that. Welcome to Roll Reviews. I'm Chase Liam here to review The Blue Room. This is a French film written, directed, and starring Matthew Amoric. I am probably mispronouncing that, but that's okay because I'm from America and I'm. I need to really culturize myself. I need to be cultured. All right, so. <clears throat> Movie, this movie is basically uh, about, you know, the main character who has a affair with another character, and the other character is married, the uh, uh, main character is married, he's got a wife, he's got a kid, the affair happens, and then, you know, the next moment he's being interviewed by some cops, and some stuff goes down regarding the mistress's husband and where he is at. Okay. So let me start by saying that I really love French films. It's probably my favorite country for films. I mean, looking over here right now, I have four of them, which is a lot because I don't have, I barely have any foreign films. French films to me are just, they're beautiful, they're elegant. Um, the cinematography is always breathtaking. I love the music. I love the acting in all of them. So does this one stand up to par to traditional French filmmaking? Yes and no. So let's break this down. The directing. Matthew Almarek. Oh my god, I'm... There is, someone's going to comment below and just tell me how terrible I am. So it's okay. I mean, I, there's really nothing I can do about it. Alright, so I thought the direction of this was very good. I thought it was a very strong direction on what kind of story he wanted to tell because they kept flopping back and forth from you know the affair to uh, him being interviewed by the cops to the impending court case that's in the third act the only problem is that this movie feels like it was dropped into a second act and then a third act like it followed you know second to third it it felt like the first act was completely missing or just one of the acts in general it just felt like we were plopped into the middle of a movie like the last half of a movie. And listen, you can make a movie at an hour and 10 minutes, hour 15. This movie is an hour and 15 minutes. It's one of the shortest foreign films I've ever seen that's considered at full length. But it just, it really just felt like we were, like I said, plopped into the middle of something and we didn't really, you know, get a sense of what was going on and whatnot. I, I understand what they were going for. And it just, it didn't really work for me. Let's just put it that way. Um, another thing I didn't really like about the directing is the uh, last 20 minutes, which was the court case of this entire movie. I would have loved for it to be drawn out more, to be more intense, more just nail-biting, gripping, and just edited like in a certain way to where it makes your heart rise, you know? But it happened so fast, it felt like they were just you know, wrapping it up and putting a bow on top of it and calling it a day. So those are like the only two things that had a problem with the directing. But other than that, everything else is fantastic, which I will break to right now. The acting. I thought the acting was great. I loved the main character. I loved the mistress. I loved the husband, the wife, the kid, the cops, everyone. Everyone did a fantastic job. I have no complaints there. The cinematography. Yes. So I'm talking about, France. You know your stuff. Okay, um, it's one of the better shot films of this year, and it's the only foreign film I've seen this year. I'll have to go check back on that, but the summer shot is, is gorgeous. Every shot is meticulously lit and, and framed, and it just it looks so clean and so polished. It just looks it just looks great. The summer shot is, is beautiful to look at. All right, editing, like I said, hour and 15, it flies by. And like I said, the last 20 minutes, if they could have just like edited that, edited that more, I guess, in, intense and had more dialogue there, maybe add a little longer, that would have been a very cool scene for that entire movie. Because that's what, that's what this movie kind of hinges on, is that court case, at least I think, because you're building up to that thing. So, like, it's really tough to grade this, because like, I really loved aspects about this. I like the direction overall. It's just, like I said, it felt like we were missing an act. It felt like we were missing a chunk of this movie. The last 20 minutes could have been edited a lot more uh, gripping and intense. Um, 
The acting was it was very well done. The cinematography is gorgeous. The music, I really like the music as well. It it pretty much was its own character in each scene. Um, I I really liked it. It it was just one one of those things where like you know the scene was happening, and you're already invested into it, and the music starts, and you're just like, now I'm even more invested. So those are the things I like about it. Those are the things I dislike about it. I thought about it. I'm gonna give this six out of ten. It's I'll give it fresh for sure because I, I, I actually like the movie and I like aspects of the movie, but there's just certain parts of it that hinder it so much for me that you know I just can't rate it any higher. But I still love French films and I still will watch any one of them that come my way. So have you seen The Blue Room or have you even heard of it? Comment that places right below my face and let me know. And as always, thanks for watching more reviews. I'm Chase Lee and I cannot pronounce uh, names to save my life. Okay? Alright, see you guys later. Oh, my God.